Christ is risen. Christos anesti. Christos vos crece. El msich com. Ha mashiach com. Christus resurrexit. Christo a resucitado. Christos anviat. Christi unio. Arisutosu fukatsu. Kidu fuhola. Christo boahashane. Fourth Kings. Second Kings in Hebrew. Chapter 23, verse 21 through chapter 25, verse 30. And the king commanded all the people, saying, Keep the Passover to the Lord your God, as it is written in the book of this covenant. For a Passover such as this had not been kept from the days of the judges who judged Israel, even all the days of the kings of Israel and the kings of Judah. But in the eighteenth year of King Josias was the Passover kept to the Lord in Jerusalem. Moreover, Josias removed the sorcerers and the wizards and the theraphim and the idols, and all the abominations that had been set up in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem, that you might keep the words of the law that were written in the book, which Josias the priest found in the house of the Lord. There was no king like him before him, who turned to the Lord with all his heart, and with all his soul, and with all his strength, according to the law of Moses, and after him there arose not one like him. Nevertheless the Lord turned not from the fierceness of his great anger, or with he was wroth in his anger against Judah, because of the provocations or with Manasseh provoked him. And the Lord said, I will also remove Judah from my presence, as I removed Israel, and will reject this city which I have chosen, even Jerusalem, and the house of which I said, My name shall be there. And the rest of the ex Josias, and all that he did, are not these things written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And in his days went up Peronachaeo, king of Egypt, against the king of the Assyrians, to the river Euphrates. And Josias went out to meet him, and Nicaeo slew him in Megiddo when he saw him. And his servants carried him dead from Megiddo, and brought him to Jerusalem, and buried him in his sepulchre. And the people of the land took Joachaz, the son of Josias, and anointed him, and made him king in the room of his father. Twenty and three years old was Joachaz when he began to reign. And he reigned three months in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Amatel, daughter of Jeremiah of Lobna. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers did. And Pharaoh Nicaeo removed him to Rebleum in the land of Emeth, so that he should not reign in Jerusalem, and imposed a tribute on the land a hundred talents of silver and a hundred talents of gold. And Pharaoh Nicaeo made Eliakim, son of Josias, king of Judah, king over them in the place of his father Josias. And he changed his name to Joachim, and he took Joachaz and brought him to Egypt, and he died there. And Joachim gave the silver and the gold to Pharaoh, but he assessed the land to give money at the command of Pharaoh. They gave the silver and the gold, each man according to his assessment, together with the people of the land to give to Pharaoh Nicaeo. Twenty-five years old was Joachim when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jeldaph, daughter of Fadil of Rumah. And he did that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. In his days went up Nabuchodonosor, king of Babylon, and Joachim became his servant three years. And then he turned and revolted from him. And the Lord sent against him the bands of the Chaldeans, and the bands of Syria, and the bands of Moab, and the bands of the children of Ammon, and sent them into the land of Judah to prevail against it, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by his servants the prophets. Moreover, it was the purpose of the Lord concerning Judah to remove them from his presence, because of the sins of Manasseh, according to all that he did. Moreover, he shed innocent blood, and filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, and the Lord would not pardon it. And the rest of the acts of Joachim, and all that he did, behold, are not these written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Joachim slept with his fathers, and Joachim his son reigned in his stead. And the king of Egypt came no more out of his land, for the king of Babylon took away all that belonged to the king of Egypt from the river of Egypt as far as the river Euphrates. Eighteen years old was Joachim when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nesta, the daughter of el of Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers did. At that time went up Nabuchodonosor, king of Babylon, to Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. And Nabuchodonosor, king of Babylon, came against the city, and his servants besieged it. And Joachim, king of Judah, came forth to the king of Babylon, he and his servants, and his mother, and his princes, and his eunuchs. And the king of Babylon took him in the eighth year of his reign. And he brought forth thence all the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king's house. And he cut up all the golden vessels which Solomon the king of Israel had made in the temple of the Lord, according to the word of the Lord. 
And he carried away the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and all the captains, and the mighty men, taking captive ten thousand prisoners, and every artificer and smith, and only the poor of the land were left. And he carried Joachim away to Babylon, and the king's mother, and the king's wives, and his eunuchs. And he carried away the mighty men of the land into captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon. And all the men of might, even seven thousand and one thousand artificers and smiths, all were mighty men fit for war. And the king of Babylon carried them captive to Babylon. And the king of Babylon made Bathanias his son king in his stead, and called his name Sedechias. Twenty and one years old was Sedechias when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Amatel, daughter of Jeremias. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Joachim did. For it was according to the Lord's anger against Jerusalem and on Judah, until he cast them out of his presence, that Zedekiah revolted against the king of Babylon. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came, and all his host, against Jerusalem. And he encamped against it, and built a mound against it. And the city was besieged until the eleventh year of king Zedekiah on the ninth day of the month. And the famine prevailed in the city, and there was no bread for the people of the land. And the city was broken up, and all the men of war went forth by night, by way of the gate between the walls. This is the gate of the king's garden, and the Chaldeans were set against the city round about. And the king went by the way of the plain, and the force of the Chaldeans pursued the king, and overtook him in the plains of Jericho, and all his armies were dispersed from about him. And they took the king, and brought him to the king of Babylon, to Reblatha, and he gave judgment upon him. And he slew the sons of Sidachias before his eyes, and put out the eyes of Sedechias, and bound him in fetters, and brought him to Babylon. And in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, this is the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nabuzardan, captain of the guard, who stood before the king of Babylon, to Jerusalem. And he burnt the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, even every house, did the captain of the guard burn. And the force of the Chaldeans pulled down the wall of Jerusalem round about. And Nebuzardan, the captain of the guard, removed the rest of the people that were left in the city, and the men who had deserted to the king of Babylon, and the rest of the multitude. But the captain of the guard left the poor of the land to be vine dressers and husbandmen. And the Chaldeans broke to pieces the brazen pillars that were in the house of the Lord, and the bases, and the brazen sea that was in the house of the Lord, and carried the rest to Babylon. And the cauldrons, and the shovels, and the bowls, and the censers, and all the brazen vessels with which they minister, he took. And the captain of the guard took the fire pans, and the gold and silver bowls, two pillars, and one sea, and the bases which Solomon made for the house of the Lord. There was no weight of the brass of all the vessels. The height of one pillar was eighteen cubits, and the chapter upon it was of brass. And the height of the chapter was three cubits. The border and the pomegranates on the chapter round about were all of brass. So it was with the second pillar with its border. And the captain of the guard took Sereas, the high priest, and Sophonias, the second in order, and the three doorkeepers. And they took out of the city one eunuch, who was commander of the men of war, and five men that saw the face of the king. They were found in the city, and the secretary of the commander-in-chief, who took account of the people of the land, and sixty men of the people of the land that were found in the city. And Nabuzardan, the captain of the guard, took them, and brought them to the king of Babylon, to Reblatha. And the king of Babylon smote them, and slew them at Reblatha in the land of Emath. So Judah was carried away from his land. And as for the people that were left in the land of Judah, whom Nabuchodonosor, king of Babylon, left, even over them he said, Go to Elias, the son of Achikam, the son of Saphon. And all the captains of the hosts, they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had thus appointed Go to Elias. And they came to Go to Elias to Massapheth, both Ismael and the son of Nathanias, and Jonah, the son of Kareth, and Sarais, the son of Thamanamoth, the Netophathite, and Jezoniah, the son of Amagathite, they and their men. And Godaliah swore to them and their men, and said to them, Fear not the incursion of the Chaldeans, dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. And it came to pass in the seventh month that Ismael, son of Nathanias, son of Helesama, of the seed royal, came, and ten men with him, and he smote Godaliah. 
that he died, him and the Jews, and the Chaldeans that were with him in Massapha. And all the people, great and small, rose up, they and the captains of the forces, and went into Egypt, because they were afraid of the Chaldeans. And it came to pass, in the thirty-seventh year of the carrying away of Joachim, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, that Evialmarodek, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Joachim, king of Judah, and brought him out of his prison house. And he spoke kindly to him, and set his throne above the thrones of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments, and he bred continually before him all the days of his life. And his portion, a continual portion, was given him out of the house of the king, a daily rate for every day, all the days of his life. Psalm 111, 112 in Hebrew. Alleluia. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord. He will delight greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty in the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Glory and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forevermore. To the upright light has sprung up in darkness. He is pitiful and merciful and righteous. The good man is he that pities and lends. He will direct his affairs with judgment, for he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of any evil report. His heart is ready to trust in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not fear, till he shall see his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed abroad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forevermore. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The sinner shall see and be angry. He shall gnash his teeth and consume away. The desire of the sinner shall perish. Psalm 112, 113 in Hebrew. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, ye servants of his. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this present time and forever. From the rising of the sun to his setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all the nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is as the Lord our God, who dwells in the high places, and yet looks upon the low things in heaven and on the earth? Who lifts up the poor from the earth, and raises up the needy from the dunghill, to set him with princes, even with the princes of his people? Who settles the barren woman in a house, as a mother rejoicing over children? Proverbs chapter 24, verses 19 through 22. Rejoice not in evildoers, neither be envious of sinners. For the evil man shall have no posterity, and the light of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear God and the king, and do not disobey either of them. For they will suddenly punish the ungodly, and who can know the vengeance inflicted by both? The Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 5, verses 16 through 47. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus, and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that he himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which he hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I, 
can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not the testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me, but ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe, which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words?